<laughs> oh wow, I look homeless. Wow, this okay, can we just talk about my like upgrade in stream quality from like my last few streams? Um why am I I look homeless though, kind of cute, but like uh, I love how y'all were like, uh, Christina's late. Okay, I was like two minutes late. Relax. Hello. Yeah, so can we all just genuinely take a second? Because I actually upgraded all of my streaming equipment. And uh, like I have a mic now. Look at look at how cute this is. And I actually, this is this is an external um an external uh webcam as well so i'm hoping that the like picture is a little bit clearer than last time but who knows maybe it's actually horrible and you guys can't hear me is the let me know if you think the uh, sound quality is better because i'm hoping to start actually filming videos with this but it's hard to get um i don't like i don't like a merging audio with video it's very it's hard um but yes hi everyone we hit 190,000 subscribers today which was really exciting um uh i just got uh, home from a walk with my parents so oh someone uh oh my god armin um if you didn't know, Armin is one of my um, mods on Discord. So he super chat and said, look, you upgrading your gear. Also, hi, queen. Hi, baby. Love you. Hello, everyone. I was reading a bit of the chat before I went live. That's why I was kind of late. Um, but you guys are so cute. I swear to God, my community is the best community. I'm just saying. Y'all are all so nice to each other. And... Um, not only are you nice to each other, but like so supportive and loving and accepting. I'm just letting you know some other YouTubers communities are not like this. So you guys, I've cultivated like a very special community. Very special community because um, some other people's communities are shitty. Just saying. Um, ours is very nice. I mean, we've had some of our problems in Discord, like, don't get me wrong, but I'd say we cultivated uh, a fairly non-toxic community in general. Um, please let me know if I lag at all or if I um, the stream gets bad just because it's, you know, sometimes my internet connection ain't the greatest. Um, Sierra Pollock said, sorry, I'm broke, but hi, you're my number one inspiration. Uh, stay, stay progressive, babes. Hi, Sierra. No worries. Oh my God. Thank you so much for your super chat. Yeah. If you guys didn't know, if you want your comment highlighted, there's like a super chat op option, but I'll try to read other people's comments as well, because I know, you know, it's the pandemic time. You don't have to worry about like sending me money, but, um, Thank you so much, Sierra. I love you so much. Oh, you know I'm going to stay progressive, girl. There's no other option. Pro progress. Like, that's the part of progressive that's important is, like, we are sticking with the progress of society and not trying to be regressive like, you know, some political parties. But I will always stay progressive. I'm so glad that I can inspire you. And uh, thank you so much for supporting me. I love you, Sierra. You rock. Don't ever change. Um, Rayan. Is your name Rayan H.? Did I get that right? You should watch Vouch. He's an American leftist who is friends with ContraPoints. His content is kind of edgy, though. So I do watch Vouch. Um, Vosh? Sorry. Why did I say Vouch? I watch Vosh. Um, I know he did a live stream yesterday with TimCast, which I really... I haven't seen yet, but I really want to see it because TimCast is fucking annoying. And uh, the shit he says is just so fucking stupid uh also thank you ryan for uh super chatting but genuinely um simcast sucks and i just wanted to see vouch be like um but yeah i love vouch i would love to connect with him at some point i follow him on twitter and i'm obviously subscribed to him on youtube but i would love to connect with him at some point because i think he's really intelligent he's a little bit edgy uh, I don't always agree with everything he says. Now, you know, again, 
we're all human beings and uh, uh, we all have differing opinions on, on certain subjects, but we fall among the same like general realm of politics because we're both like raging lefties. Um, but I do love his passion. And when he gets like fucking mad, he does like uh, those, he streams and then he'll get callers and he'll like argue with them, which I love, which is always a good time. Oh, someone just said I have the best TikTok account. Or AC, what does that mean? Account? I assume account. Um, I think my TikTok sucks. Uh, my TikTok is cringy. My TikTok is on, you know, Andy. Oh my God. Okay. So Andy, Andy is also one of my patrons and I love them with my whole heart. Um, Andy says, uh, Chris, say hi to little jelly so if you guys didn't know i also have a twitch um and i'm learning to stream on twitch it's not going very well i had one stream where i played uh among us with a bunch of you guys i kept putting the code like on the screen and then people could join in it was like really fun uh but so we uh andy said uh say hi to little jelly so there was uh one of my subscribers was in the chat and their name was little jelly and little jelly kept trying to get into the Among Us game, but like couldn't put the code in fast enough. <laughs> this is the cutest, most wholesome story. So finally, I mean, again, my community is the best. So uh, someone was like, "Here, I'll exit the game and give like little jelly a chance to get in." So we waited, got little jelly into the game. The game starts right. <laughs> I'm go running. I'm going to do my tasks uh, in Among Us and. Within five seconds, emergency meeting. We're all like, what? What's happening? Like, we're all in the chat like, yo, what happened? And Lil Jelly's like, I called the meeting. Hi, it's me. I'm Lil Jelly. <laughs> Guys, I made it in the game. It's me, Lil Jelly. And it was the cutest moment in the history. We were all literally sitting there like, this was the most wholesome thing. It made my entire night. I uh, I found Lil Jelly on Instagram after and because uh, they had DM'd me. And I messaged them and I was like, thank you so much. But you literally made my night. And they were like, you made my life. And I was like, I love you. Little Jelly is my hero, to be honest. Uh, so cute. Just emergency meeting. It was like, hi, I'm I'm little I'm little jelly, guys. I made it in. I made it in. And we were all just like. And Lil Jelly ended up being one of the imposters too. Um, but uh, they had bad internet connections, so they had to leave. Um, but Fred Harvey super chatted. Thank you so much for your super chat. Uh, and said, uh, like the way you think, mate. Stay sane, safe, and reasonable. Why is that such a cute message? Um, I like the way you think, mate. Are you British or Australian or something? I feel like they, those are the people that say mate. Stay sane, safe, and reasonable. Why am I going to like end all of my messages with that now? Thank you. Love you so much, Fred. You're the best. Um, and Kaylee Evans uh, super chatted. Thank you so much for your super chat. And said, here since 15K subs. Oh my God. Jeez. I'm a specialist uh, in mental health. And I'm a specialist mental health practitioner by trade. And you open the conversation for mental health so well. You're amazing from UK. Hi, Kaylee. Thank you so much. That's crazy that you've been here since 15K subs. Every time someone says that they've been here since... It, it feels like it was so long ago that I had 15K subs, but I guess it wasn't. It was like the beginning of this year. But that's crazy because I feel like... I was so stressed... Okay. Not going to lie, guys. I was so stressed before. I mean, I still am stressed. I keep stressing that like the subscriber count I'm at now is like as big as I'm ever going to get. Like, I, I mean, it's hard being, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and be like, it's hard being a YouTuber, but the, the part that's hard about being a YouTuber is that you're constantly chasing numbers. And it's like when a video doesn't perform well, it like ruins your whole day. Like when I put out a video and it doesn't hit a certain number by a certain time, uh, my whole day is ruined. Like I'm upset. I'm like, why didn't it perform well? I worked so hard on this video. I spent so much time um, producing it. And do people not like it? Like that's so rude. That's rude. I worked really hard on this. Um, but uh, yeah. So when I had 15K subs, I was like, wow, this is as big as I'm ever going to get. And like, this is my, and now I'm almost at 200K and it's like, well, Every time I think that, I have to just keep reminding myself that I thought that before. Um, sorry, Kaylee, I had something else to say, though, to you. Uh, you're a mental health practitioner. That's amazing. And I'm I'm so, like, I, 
like I don't know anything too deep on mental health. Of course, I suffer from a lot of mental health issues. So uh, I think I do have a good knowledge. But again, I'm no professional. I didn't study it in university, but I would like to make more videos on mental health. And I've been planning them recently, but I just don't know if people will watch them. I was going to do like a series where I like break apart each mental disorder that I have because I have a bunch that I'm pretty sure people have never heard of before or don't really know too much about. And I also have a, a video I want to do about like dissociating and like how it actually happens in a lot of like mental disorders. But anyways, I love you. You're amazing. And thank you so much for your super chat. And also Liz Aroni and Cheese, love the name said uh hi hi from ohio just gotta say i'm so proud and just i'm sorry i'm so bad at reading guys i'm kind of low-key like not dyslexic but like i have trouble reading sometimes hi from ohio just gotta say i'm so proud and with all the progress i i totally not in a weird way think we would be friends just proud of you you're so cute lazaroni and cheese sorry i'm bad at about it reading your message but you're so cute I love that because you know I feel like I'd be best friends with so many of you guys in real life if uh if you were actually in my city you know we got to meet each other but thank you so much for the support and you're from Ohio which is usually not very progressive but I'm glad you are uh Sanya 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 V am I saying your name right I love you so much and you are such a goddess and your videos always make me feel valid and happy and like I'm not alone, especially right now. That was so sweet. Oh my God, that just made me so happy and warm inside. Thank you so much. That's, I think that's something, and even if you go back in like my old videos, that's been something that has always been one of my goals is to uh, create an environment where people can feel less alone because I feel like a lot of the time when I was growing up, uh, and I was on the internet, I don't know, people just were so fake, and it, it's nice for people to actually, like, talk about, you know, their sexuality and their mental health and not be, like, scared about it, um, so I'm so glad you feel valid and happy. You are, you are valid, and you're beautiful and wonderful, and I'm so happy you're part of my community, 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 and you support me. Thank you so much. I love you. Um, oh, I think I remember your name. I think you've super chatted before, but it's Rogelio, Rogelio Cano. Did I say it right? I just know Rogelio from um, uh, from Jane the Virgin. But anyways, can you make videos summarizing the main ideas of white fragility? I feel like it would get a lot of viewers' attention considering its popularity. That would be an interesting concept. Um, I would have to create an... Um, sorry, a uh, logical like form to the video to have a point be displayed that why am I my, my words aren't coming out uh, to have a, a point be uh addressed in the video like what would the point of a white fragility um video be also thank you for your super chat um because like white fragility is kind of referring to um is it more like white guilt if that makes sense also I look really tired and if I do it's because I am Oh my God, Lil Jelly DM'd me and said, sorry, hi, sorry to interrupt your stream, but I'm in the chat. I don't, I just don't have any money. Love you. <laughs> Love you, Lil Jelly. You rock. Don't ever change. Um, uh, so there's another super chat from, I'm not going to be able to pronounce your name. Is it J Jolka or Yolka? Yolka Schroda? I'm so bad with names. Uh, King, love you. Poland and government situation vid. Okay. I was about to do a video. Like I was about to put something on my Instagram story today or like post something because, uh, but I, I had already too many posts on my Instagram story and it gives me anxiety when I have too many posts. But I have gotten over 2000 DMs on all of my like uh, platforms being like, please do a video on Poland. And I'm, like if genuinely if you could look at my tabs right now they're all about Poland so I'm definitely looking into it and trying to make a video about it because I think it's really important I know there's a lot of stuff going on with abortion rights and women's rights and uh it's not good so we're working on a video for it so don't worry um I'm sending my love to all the people out in Poland 
because holy crap, I got so many DMs and I didn't realize like how many people are subscribed to me that live in Poland. But I was like, oh shit, okay. Also, two of my best friends are Polish. So Poland's got a special place in my heart. Someone, uh, okay, someone asked, do you watch uh, Hasanabi? Girl. <laughs> we talked about this on my Twitch stream very like briefly uh, uh sorry one second fred super chatted and said in little jelly's name wait what does that mean i'm so confused what does that mean someone tell me what that means in little jelly's name because i can Also, Yellow Snowman, thank you for your super chat. I remember you from one of my other streams. Thank you. In honor, like they can they can post something in honor of. Uh, uh, Armin says, "Sorry for not staying for long. Got to sleep for math tomorrow. See a queen and tell Evie to calm down. Evie, calm down. Also, love you, Armin. Uh, good luck with math. Love you so much. Take care of yourself. Anyways, back to." my love of my life uh hassan 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 i'm tr i always try to pronounce his name right because i am my best friend is turkish and uh whenever whenever i say turkish like names wrong he's like dude like um but so on my twitch stream we were talking about it and i was like yo can we as a community get Hassan, 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 fucking, I'm never going to say his name right. Uh, can we get my bae to notice me? As a team, can we come together and get him to notice me? Because I've tried. I DM'd him. I mean, he's way bigger than I am, obviously. I mean, technically, we're on the same, like, realm of YouTube subscribers, but on him on every single other platform is, like, way bigger than I am. So uh, I just want him to notice me. I want to talk to him about politics. Uh, I think he's really, really intelligent. I mean, he's a little bit farther left than I am. Uh, he's a little bit more radical, uh, which I love. I love hearing about because then I can educate my more, myself more. Um, but if I could ever talk with him, ask him questions, hear his opinions on Canadian politics, <gasps> that would be so amazing. Oh, my God. This is me simping over Hassan. I watch his Twitch. I used to put his Twitch streams on at, when I was at work for eight hours because uh, m like his streams are like 10 hours. And for my eight hour shift, I would have a stream on in the background and everyone used to think I was crazy. Anyways, Yucky, y y I can never, I'm sorry if I pronounce your name wrong. I know we talk all the time, but again, I'm bad with names. Um, Yuki is one of um, my biggest supporters, especially on uh, Twitter. Thank you replies to every single one of my tweets uh says i love you so much you're a huge inspiration uh in my life and helped me pursue criminal justice i also found out i'm part italian from a dna test so are we related are we sisters i love you boo thank you for super chatting um yeah so can we come together as a community and get hasanabi to love me Oh, so I know this video was supposed to be me unboxing and I haven't unboxed anything. Should we do a mukbang? I have food here. <laughs> also, I was going to say it's oh, in the gay Halloween spirit. Isn't this perfect? I was thinking of like putting it out on like Halloween. Oh, there is a super chat. Anna, why does that name sound familiar? Oh, Anna, yes, you're one of my patrons. I was just about to say. I was like, Anna Whalen, that sounds so familiar. And then I remembered, you're my little, my little Irish boo. Um, 
Hi, Christina. You might know me from Patreon. Yeah, I, jo I just said that. I knew you right off the bat. I, I, I have almost everyone's name memorized, but sometimes it takes me a second to like pull them out. I struggle so much with those self esteem and love how amazing you are. I wish I could love myself. Oh my God, Anna, you are so gorgeous and perfect. I love you. You are literally so perfect with your little cute freaking accent. Um, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, like, if you know anything about me, I've suffered from, like, low self-esteem most of my life. I still do. Uh, it's it's a long process to learn to love yourself. But I think um, a, a big part of it comes to, like, it starts with giving back to yourself and, like, pouring as much as you pour into other people back into yourself, if that makes sense. You got to kind of, um, you know as much time as you would spend on like a boyfriend or a girlfriend or like, you know, a partner, um, spend that time on yourself, do things, uh, that make you happy and that make you feel pretty and beautiful and, uh, worthy. You know what I mean? And the more you start doing little things every single day like that, um, I find you kind of learn to love yourself a bit more. Also, another thing that helped was like, it sounds so cheesy and cliche, but like look yourself in the mirror every day when you wake up and just be like, I fucking love you. I do that sometimes and I'm sure people think I'm so weird. Like my parents probably hear me, but I literally like look myself in the mirror and I'm just like, I, I fucking love you. You're, you're fucking beautiful. You're amazing. And you know what? Eventually you start thinking it. Eventually you start believing it. But Anna, you're so beautiful and I love you. So if you don't, I'll have the self-esteem for you, bitch. Sorry, <laughs> I didn't mean to swear. <laughs> Uh, Anton says, greetings from Sweden. Big fan of yours, Christina. P.S. Can you tell us about the Canadian election system? Uh, what do you want to know about the Canadian election system? It's, it's very, very different from the American like electoral college, uh, because we like our electoral system is like popular vote. So we don't have like one area in Canada that will mean like no one's vote means more like every vote counts every vote means something and uh no vote in a certain area means more than another if that makes sense i don't understand the electoral college but uh the only way i can explain it is it's basically voter suppression in my mind um also i love sweden because i like the way they run uh, i know they do have their f like flaws and everything but i do like ultimately the way they run their uh, government system yeah the electoral college sucks because basically what it's doing is when you have certain states that count for more um and especially states that don't have like the largest amount of people like if you have a state with less people that means more basically you can move people out of areas and this is where gentrification comes in when you move people out of certain areas because they can't afford to live there anymore, basically you're saying like lower income votes don't matter. Um, and when you have minorities like uh, black and Latino people who are in the you know bottom percent and in a, are in poverty, you're basically saying their votes don't matter. So again, it goes back to like racism in America. Electoral college plays into that as well. I don't know if any of that made sense. Sometimes that don't make sense when I speak, but it, like it makes sense in my brain, but I don't explain it properly. This is why growing up, everyone thought I was dumb because I swear I'm smart in here, but it doesn't always compute, <laughs> which is why I have to take time before I make videos. Uh, I'm not good at the like live debating and live streaming because I sometimes I'm dumb, dumb. Uh, Andy super chatted and said uh, the electoral college means that land wins elections, not people. Fucking that perfectly put. See, Andy, you're way smarter than I am. Sometimes when I talk to Andy on Zoom calls in Patreon, I'm just like, damn. Andy needs to create their own uh, YouTube channel because definitely smarter than me. <laughs> uh, but Andy is definitely a different uh, political area than I am. Andy is a anarcho-communist, I'm pretty sure. Anarchist, com anarchy, anarchist, communi communist. I haven't gone full to the anarchy side, but um, I would definitely say at this point in my life, I'm a democratic socialist. I could probably say that with confidence. 
I'm moving slowly left though. Like every, every, uh, wait, I don't know which way is left for you guys, but every year I'm just like slide to the left, slide to the left. <laughs> One hop this time, boom, two hops this time, boom, boom. slide to the left. <laughs> every year. Um, Libby Beck, super chatted. Thank you so much for your super chat. And said, I live in Tennessee, which will probably forever and always be a red state. And my vote most likely doesn't matter at all. But I did it anyways. Libby, you freaking rock, first of all, for voting. Thank you. Because I got some comments on my last video saying, oh, well, everyone sucks. I'm just not going to vote. No, like your vote matters. It always matters. And I think the fact that we all live in like democratic societies where we have the option to vote. There's so many countries where you don't even have the opportunity to vote like it's a tyrannical regime that uh, is running a country and you don't have that option to choose your political party and even though maybe you feel like your vote doesn't matter you need to exercise that right you know what i mean so i'm so proud of you libby thank you for voting um i mean there's a lot of places in because tennessee's in texas right or am i dumb i'm kind of dumb uh but i think texas is like slowly like slide to the left you know like a little bit tennessee is a state oh my god it is no you're lying to me <laughs> oh my god i'm so dumb wow i'm actually fucking dumb that's embarrassing why did I think Tennessee was in Texas? Is it close? Can someone just make me seem less smart, like stupid? Okay, guys, okay, in my defense, it's not like I learned American geography. And in my defense, it's not like any one of you know where anything in Canada is. I saw... <laughs> I saw uh, on an American. Oh yeah, Andy super chat and said, uh, "Dem suck is chill." Oh, democratic socialists are pretty cool. Anyways, uh, back to me being stupid. It's okay. It's okay. I forgive myself because I saw American news network pronounce my city completely wrong. It was like, Ottawa. The capital of Canada, Ottawa. I was like, excuse me. It's Ottawa. If you feel dumb, just remember that Trump once pronounced China as China. Oh my god. Thank you, Rebecca Sweet Music, for your super chat. And honestly, that made me feel a bit better. But Trump is also a fucking idiot, so... Wow, I'm actually, like, gonna go study geography after this. Okay, but also in my defense, I literally failed Canadian geography in high school, so. And history, so. I actually did really good in my history class in university, though. I just think high school sucks. Um, let's look at the American map. Can I put with states? Wow, yeah. Texas and Tennessee aren't even like... I, I was like, maybe maybe I'll save myself. Maybe they're right beside each other. They're not. Okay, <laughs> so in my mind, guys, like, sometimes I just form a bunch of states together because that makes sense in my brain. So, like, Louisiana and Texas are the same place to me. Genuinely. Oklahoma thought that was Texas. Alabama isn't in Texas? Why do you guys have so many states? Like, there's just so many. <laughs> you guys are probably like, wow, this girl was my inspiration. Like, I, I, ins I, I aspire to be as smart as her and she doesn't even know where fucking Alabama is. Yeah, like, why do you guys have, like, 50 states? 
Canada, we have 11 provinces and territories. 11. This is embarrassing. I'm like, actually, we have 51 states. Don't, I, th I asked someone recently and they said 50 states. Did you guys lose one? Is Alaska a state still? I don't know. Hawaii is. All I know is I live near New York State, so I can drive there. That's all I know. Okay, well, let's stop embarrassing myself. Let's talk about something else. <laughs> oh, my knee hurts. Maybe we should... Oh, someone said, would you date a fan? Would you guys be interested to know that I have a crush on a fan? <laughs> Technically, does it count if they're a fan? I don't know if they're like a fan fan, but they're like a fan of my content, I guess. Spill it a little. No, you're not telling. Andy, it's you. I'm kidding. Love you, Andy. Uh, Yellow Snowman said United States of America consists of 50 states. So I was right about that. Thank you very much. Um. <laughs> Andy X Christina. Speaking of Andy, though, I have, oh my gosh, I should grab because Andy sent me something in my P.O. box. Let me go grab that stuff now. Ow, my knee. Oh, Ooh, I'm also sweating. Why am I sweating? I'm scared I'm going to show people's addresses, which is, okay, I feel like I should try to hide that. Um, but Andy sent me a painting that they drew me. Not the knee. My, my under boob sweat. Don't even, I can feel it right now. Get these things off me. But I do also have some letters that I opened last live stream. And uh... sorry, I got distracted by the chat. Um, some of these I opened last time and I didn't actually fully get to read them. One was really personal though. And I don't know if Brie Animates is in the chat, but I never like found your username. Like if Brie Animates is in the chat, you sent me a like a letter last time that I read very briefly. And uh, I like I was hoping to find them on on like another platform because I can't DM people on YouTube. Uh, but if Brie Animates has like Twitter or Instagram or if I can find a way to DM on YouTube because I want to get in contact with her because she sent me a letter and I wanted to like reply to the letter. But maybe I should just send a letter back. Should we just start like. Should I send like a pigeon with a note in it? Um, Ian Sylvester, Sylvester, do you support decriminalizing and legalizing drugs? Uh, decriminalizing and legalizing, uh, like psych psychedelics, example, shrooms, acid, MDMA, cocaine, and marijuana. So I'm for legalizing and decrim. Well, I'm for decriminalizing drugs because I think um, when you like drugs are going to be used like period but by sending people to jail instead of actually getting them help for it is uh it makes drugs a lot less safe so when you get you know street drugs you never know what it's going to be laced with or why am i like out of focus right now am i out of focus sorry guys um you never know what it's going to be laced with it makes it more dangerous just like the argument that like you know people will say well oh if you criminalize guns uh people are just going to obtain them illegally well same with drugs anyways i'm super for legalizing marijuana because at least in canada we've legalized marijuana um but 
I'm super for decriminalizing drugs. I think that things, especially like psychedelics, like, bro, who is it really hurting? And also in small doses, psychedelics, uh, also thank you Ian for your super chat, but also psychedelics in small doses can help with, uh, they do it in uh, like therapeutic settings um, and it helps with anxiety and depression and yeah, anyways, it was super, super good. Tiana Ken Kanani. I feel like that name sounds Hawaiian, sort of. I don't know why. Uh, super random, but your coming out video gave me the confidence to come out. So thank you so much. I adore you. I adore you. Oh my God, that makes me so happy. That's such a special moment. I'm so glad that my like, coming out video could have helped people because I just, I was nervous to post it, um, even though everyone already knew I was, <laughs> you know, doing that. But I'm so glad that you finally came out. And that gave you confidence. Uh, I'm so happy you get to be who you are. I adore you. I love you. Um, we'll open Andy's uh, first. I'm going to try not to show anyone's addresses. And if I do, I'm so sorry. Please don't hold me legally liable. <laughs> da, 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 da. Do you speak any other languages, says Ella Willard. Um, so I speak some French because I've been, well, I guess... Technically, I should speak a lot more French than I do because I've been, I've been in French. Uh, I'm opening this the completely wrong way um, because I've been taking French since I was in kindergarten. Because you know, uh, like I live in a bilingual. Well, Canada is a bilingual country, and my province is specifically a very bilingual country, so <laughs> a bilingual province. And um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So I should speak more French. I speak a tiny bit of Italian. Tiny bit. Like, I can understand Italian, like when my mom used to speak it with my nonna. Um, also, I am fluent in sign language. Ah, fluent? Okay, it was my minor in university, but I'm graduated now, so I haven't done it in a while. So I feel like we'll say loosely on the fluent. I'm probably very bad at the moment. Um... Jamie Wright super chat and said, you're one of the best people on the internet. Thank you for all that you do. Your content has helped me with my ED. That actually means so much to me. I love you. Thank you for saying that. You know, sometimes when I get hate comments, I'm just like, it's hard to remember that people actually like me and that I do good things. Uh, so comments like this mean a lot. Thank you, Jamie. And by ED, I'm assuming you mean... Um, eating disorder but i hope i'm i'm not wrong with that but if i am right uh like a few of my best friends growing up had really bad um sorry trigger warning i guess i'm sorry for anyone who has that i'm really bad with trigger warnings to be honest this has been a problem with me uh clearly uh this is why we had issues in my discord but um yeah, a couple of my best friends had that growing up. It was really hard. A few of them got hospitalized and stuff. So I've been I've been dealing with people with uh, EDs for a long time. And I think you guys are so strong. And uh, keep fighting because you're beautiful. Just the way you are. Oh my God, it's even prettier in person. Oh, sorry. So I just... Okay, so... Wow. So this is, Andy sent me this. Okay, I don't know if you can see it. It's a picture. Like, you couldn't even see, because Andy uh, posted it on Instagram as well, you couldn't even see the details in the Instagram photo, but it's so well done. Oh my god, I love it, Andy. Thank you so much. It doesn't look like me right now because I'm ugly right now, but... <laughs> Thank you so much, Andy. This is beautiful. I want to get it framed. Or something. Oh no, my laptop is at 7%. I'm going to put this back in the thing because I don't want it to get ruined in my room right now. Okay. Ah! 
Okay, I need to plug my laptop in before it dies. Also, did we end up finding Brianimates? Were they in the chat? If not, we can just try to find them later, but... I was gonna say, I love seeing my Patreon fam and my Discord fam come together. And I saw Jason and Nick were in the chat earlier too, but... Oops, there we go. My laptop is plugged in. <laughs> Does someone say this live stream is so horny? I love it here. <laughs> oh. Well, guys, if you want to want to get Hassan's attention for me, Oh, I also forgot to put it on my Instagram story that I was going live. LOL. <laughs> Oops. Um, oh my god, I can hear myself. <laughs> Look, it's me. Oh god, I can hear myself. <laughs> Look, it's me. Okay, relax. Relax, girl. How do I share this? Okay, copy link. Nope. I'm going to put it on my Instagram story. Yeah, okay. A lot of people are asking about Amy Coney, Coney Barrett or whatever. I want to do a video on her. I'm just so surprised. Like, I thought I had more time before she got sworn in. Like, I didn't... Like, they really move. Like, I've never seen anything in the Supreme Court move that quickly. There have been, like, huge things that they've had to pass and shit. And, like... It takes months and months. It takes like nine months, a year, two years. Like things don't go through the Supreme Court quickly. And suddenly they were like fucking overnight. Like let's overnight that shit. The ceremony was at nighttime. That's not a nighttime sh thing to do. It's so weird. Also, I'm scared it's going to be such a, a step back for what am I doing here? step back for like woman's progress trump was like this is gonna be great for women i was like yeah electing a woman is i guess you know he like just electing a woman in uh in virtue is not an amazing thing for women if that woman is a fucking misogynist Uh, I'm gonna make this. Okay, I put it on my Instagram story. Um, Karina super chatted. Thank you so much for your super chat. And she said, I'm moving to Canada if Trump wins. Honestly, I think I will, I can smuggle you over in a suitcase and you can live in my, you can live in my office here because my room is next door. This is my office. You can live in my office. Okay. If you, if you need help with all of your uh, applications to become a Canadian citizen, uh, just ask Andy. Because Andy is one of my patrons. If you haven't heard, we've been talking about them a lot. And uh, Andy has been studying how to become a U.S. citizen uh, so hard. Has like a whole file of like all the things that they need to study. And uh, it's hilarious. 
Andy's such a gem, bro. <laughs> Andy, Andy super chatted. Haha, <laughs> wait, I was just gonna say. No, Andy's literally been like, I've never seen someone th who wants to become a, uh, a not sorry, a Canadian citizen as bad as Andy does. As bro, you're wild. Oh my god, Sadie. I'm gonna cough. Sorry, <laughs> Sadie, my baby. Sadie, uh, super chatted. Thank you so much. Um, Sadie is also one of my patrons. Uh, super sweet little baby from the UK, um, from England, right? Am I wrong? Am I just dumb? Uh, hi, how are you? I just wanted to say hi. I love you. Hi, baby. I hope it's not too late there because I know we have a big time difference. Um, but I hope you're doing well. It's nice to hear from you. I saw you DM'd me. I meant to answer. I'm so sorry. Um, but I think you wanted me to go live uh, for the election. I think I saw that briefly. But um, This one kid super chatted and said, will this be uploaded later? Yes, it will be. I hope. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. I think so. Yes. Uh, I'll try to upload the whole thing. Um, Should we open some of the letters? Also, I opened these last live stream, but I just want to show them again. So, oh shoot. Um, one of my pace one of my subscribers sent me this Frida Kahlo. Um postcard from los angeles california they said this is one of my two this i'm so bad at reading oh beth said hey king so stoked to see you this morn love from australia oh my gosh i forgot it's like morning in australia hey beth thank you so much um so it says this is one of two favorite artworks of Frida. It makes me feel happy and peaceful. Thought I'd send it to you since you now have a P.O. box. Hope you like it and see what I see. And um, I don't know, Frida Kahlo, why does Frida kind of look like me? if you guys didn't know I used to have a unibrow so I also used to have a mustache um, but let's not talk about that also we have Brie Animates letter which I won't read out loud because it's, uh, it's very personal but I would like to get in contact with Brie so Brie if you're watching this even like after it's uploaded uh, just comment so I can maybe get in contact with you um It's a very sweet letter, though. Um. <laughs> uh, Rogelio says, one time I tried four grams of mushrooms and was able to understand communism, selflessness, and collectivism. You might discover something about yourself or the world around you. I def recommend, uh, but be safe. Genuinely, okay. Not to my younger audience. Wait until your brain is fully developed uh, before you try any of those. But actually, psychedelics are used in a lot of therapeutic ways to like learn a lot about yourself and they'll even do it with uh like therapists and shit like in a safe setting where you can uh microdose or even they do like very large doses of um uh like things like psychedelics and stuff and you actually learn a lot about yourself but sometimes it's like when you do them you purge like so you like get sick because it's like you're purging everything and then you like experience that anyways it's crazy um Definitely, uh, you'll learn a lot about your. If you can understand communism and actually like do shrooms and uh, read the Communist Manifesto, imagine. I love that though. That's great. Imagine understanding all those concepts finally. Some some people still don't understand them. I've tried to explain them so many times. Um, I'm so happy. Sorry, uh, Kaylee Evans. Uh, super chatted again. Thank you, Kaylee. I'm so happy you knew the UK and England are two different things. 
I'm Welsh and the Welsh to uh, England are like what Canadians are to America. Oh my God, that's hilarious. Um, I've been trying to learn about the UK and stuff and England because I know they're separate, but like I used to definitely get it mixed up. I probably still will get it mixed up sometimes, but I'm glad you appreciate uh, um, that I at least somewhat know the difference. Uh, it's a little confusing. I have uh, one of my subscribers is from... Uh, london i think london and was trying to explain what brexit was to me and i was really lost um yes really sweet letter here can't read it though well too personal um oh there was also this letter it's from it says belly jelly pepper. Is that little jelly? I don't know. Anyways, they're from Columbus, New Jersey. It's a cute little letter. Uh, this is so cute. It says, Dear Christina Mayoni, first of all, sorry my handwriting is bad. I really want to send this ASAP so you'll see it. You have so many subscribers. As of now, um, sorry, as of now, you have 166,000 subscribers. By the time you read this, uh, if you read this, you will have at least 170, if not more. Oh my God, we're at 190 now, babe. I just discovered you recently when I learned about the DID Trisha Paytas drama. I think you did a really good job on the subject. Your videos are so much fun to watch. Then I found out that you do Caitlin Bennett videos. I instantly subbed because I think it is so cool that you cover so many people and topics. I just watched your video on Kanye. First off, I'm so glad you put your... Uh, <laughs> first off, I'm so glad you put your mental health in front of YouTube. I hope you're doing well. Last thing, maybe you can make a mail slash fan mail series. I'm sure you will get lots of it. Um, I may be biased, but <laughs> that's so cute. Oh my God. Anyways, I hope you're doing well. Keep doing amazing things with love. Belly Jelly Pepper, my YouTube account, LOL. That's so freaking cute. That's such a cute letter. Oh my God. Oh my God. That makes me so happy. Yeah. So I'm hoping whenever I do PO box stuff, I can do like maybe a live stream. Oh my God. Is it little jelly? Stop. One second, I'm going to read the super chat by Sadie. I'm really sad that the other countries don't like us. Uh, I get why, though. We aren't that great. Also, I'm from London. Oh my gosh, you're from London as well. Okay, I was. I don't know all the places in England, so I'm a little... Um, but I don't think that other countries hate you. At least not from North America. <laughs> I love you, though. Um, because I think Dee Dee is a uh, little jelly, right? Am I wrong? Uh, so belly jelly pepper is that little jelly? Am I wrong? Baby, I love you. Okay, well, hopefully, I mean, but yeah, I um, I'm so glad that you love my content, and also, I'm hoping to like be able to live stream whenever I get some PO box stuff. Um, where did I just put the rest of that stuff? Oh, up here. Oh, someone said, "How much water did you have today?" Thank you for reminding me. Okay, so I haven't, these are letters I haven't opened yet uh, and we'll leave the big package for last. So um, I'm going to read this one first, the green one. It's from Laura Palmer and I don't know where it's from. Possibly, I don't know. I, I can't even guess where this is from, to be honest. I'm trying not to rip the letter. Oh, 
I love handwritten letters. They're so cute. Dear Christina, I just wanted to start this letter off by saying that I really love your videos. That's a pretty... Sorry, I'm bad at reading cursive and a lot of this is like cursive-y. Um, <laughs> that's a pretty cliche thing to say, I know, but I am unashamedly a fangirl of yours. I actually just got done watching your videos about the conversation between Candace Owens and Ben Shapiro. And can I just say thank you so much for linking your sources underneath uh, your videos. Not only does it show your integrity, it's also really helpful for me. I'm 14. I'm some uh, so sometimes researching really controversial politic topic political topical. I'm so bad at reading. So sometimes researching really controversial political topics can be difficult. The resources you link are always inform informational and. And I always feel that sorry, I again, cursive, can't read very well. Uh, that <laughs> I always feel that much more educated after watching your videos and reading the articles you link. You also provide me and many others, I assume, with such a sense of community. I'm I'm not out to any of my family because while I don't think I'm in danger, I also know it it won't be a kindly accepted. On your birthday live chat, I remember there being people who reported, who replied to my comments a lot and were, and we ended up, oh, this is, this is why I love the community. Sorry, I'm taking so long to read this. I probably sound like illiterate. Um, we ended up uh, having like a mini convo in the chat section. It felt so nice to be able to talk to like-minded people in a similar situation as mine. So anyway, I hope you're doing well and keep up the good work and don't be afraid to take breaks. Uh, your OG followers will stick with you to the end. Thank you endlessly for this, uh, for the inspiration you provide and have a wonderful day. XOXO, Laura. I cry. That's so fucking cute. I'm literally going to keep these forever. These make me so happy. Like people who just want to support me so unconditionally. Sometimes I, yeah, I worry that people will stop loving my videos and stuff. <laughs> but thank you so much, Laura. That's so sweet. And I know one day you'll be able to come out, you know, to your family and stuff. And it'll be... It'll be amazing. Trust me. You'll feel so, so welcome and loved more than you, you, you think by, by people. Um, so this one's from uh, someone in Germany, which... That's crazy. Germany. So I don't know if I'll get this name right, but it's Kara? Kara? K-A-I-R-A. Kara... Care. I, I can't even pronounce anything, but stop. Someone just said, what's that behind you? I hate when people do that. Someone told me there was a spider behind me once and I actually lost my mind. Anyways, moving on. Um, and the last name is N-J-I-E, but I don't know how to... I don't know how to spell... Uh, sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that. Kiara, is that how you pronounce it? Um, ooh. This is really pretty writing, by the way. Look at, I don't know if you can see how like pretty and like spaced out the writing is. Okay, I'm going to be able to read this one a lot better. <laughs> Not, not, no, no shade to Laura. Like, love your writing, but it was just a, I'm bad at cursive. Okay, so this one says, 
feel like I'm, it's like story time with Christina. Uh, hi, Christina. My name is, I think it's Kira. Kira? Kara. My name is Kara. I'm 21 years old and I'm a German law student at the University of Cologne. English isn't my first language, so please bear with me here. You're doing amazing. I'm a big fan of your videos. <laughs> Why does a German 21-year-old care about American politics, you may ask? I lived in Philadelphia. I lived in the Philadelphia suburbs in South Jersey for one and a half years after I graduated high school. I was there for a gap year and I had an amazing time. I also traveled a lot, saw so many beautiful cities and national parks. I also traveled to Canada twice during that time. It was already a few months at it was already a few months after I moved back to Germany earlier this year to start law school when I came across your channel. Caitlin Bennett gets destroyed by feminist was the first video I watched without knowing who you or Caitlin Bennett were. Your videos are not only educational, but they're but they've been so inspirational and motivating. You seem like such a smart, funny, caring, empathetic, warm-hearted, strong, and brave woman. I would love to work for the United Nations and European Court of Human Rights, or maybe Amnesty International. You motivate me to study even harder, to be more kind, and to become the best version of myself to maybe make an impact one day. I think most of your viewers are either Canadian or U.S. American. Uh, with this letter, I really just wanted to let you know that even across the Atlantic Ocean, a German girl enjoys your videos during her study breaks. We share the same opinion on a lot of topics, and I admire the way that you fight for what you believe in. I hope that this letter, I hope with this letter, I was able to make your day a little brighter. I have never written a fan letter to anyone ever before. I'm not even sure if this will arrive in your PO box or if you'll have time to read it. Read this. Uh, I still wanted to give this a try. So thank you for shining some light on important issues and for using your platform for doing good. And I'm so glad that I found your channel. And now it is really time for me to go back to the library and study some more. All the best to you from Germany. Love, Kara. P.S. If you should ever consider visiting Germany, please know that you're always welcome. And if you're interested, I'd love to become your pen pal. Oh my God, this is so fucking cute. I want a German best friend. I want to come to Germany. What, what was she studying again? Uh, a law student. Oh my God, she must be really smart. I mean, you're probably smarter than I am, girl. This is so sweet. I'm so happy right now. This did this did bright, brighten my day. I wonder, can I send letters back? So you know how there's like a little return letter, like a return address on the side? If I just send the letter back to that address, will it get to them? I don't know. Anyways, this is adorable. It makes me so happy that like, because sometimes, you know, of course, like I, I love, you know, inspiring people who are a lot younger than me to educate themselves. But it's nice to hear like someone around my age, like I'm 23, she's 21. But someone who's like studying law, like I sometimes I think that, you know, maybe they look at me and they're like, oh, what's this girl talking about online? But that makes me so happy. And also she wants to work for like possibly United Nations or the European Court of Human Rights and stuff like that's so amazing that like I can, you know, help inspire people to like try to become the best versions of themselves and stuff. That makes me so happy. Anyways, I would love to like send letters back to you guys. I don't know if people want that, but I will. Maybe I will. Okay. So Allie Forbes just super chatted. Thank you so much. Not to get too parasocial, but you remind me of an older sister. Love the community here. And I've been here since around 20K. Much love. Thank you so much, Allie. Honestly, I love when people say that. Like, big big sister Christina or whatever. Like, I'm... Or even, like, mama Christina or whatever. I almost wanted to brand myself as that instead of King Christina. Like, the YouTube big sister. Um, but I was like, maybe not. Uh, but sometimes I feel like... Because I do have a lot of younger viewers as well as viewers that are my age and it's nice because I have two older sisters and my like our age gap is so big that I you know I didn't really get like a big relationship with them uh like my eldest sister is seven years apart from me and my middle sister is five years apart from me um and I also I you know I'm the youngest so I never got like to be a big sister and I feel like I have so much insight to give people so I feel like I do that via YouTube so Allie, you can be like my little sister. You guys are all my little sisters. 
even if your boys are non-binaries. <laughs> uh arthur day super chatted thank you so much thank you for being an amazing youtuber i'm still in the closet and watching you help me learn about issues today and watching you helped me learn about issues today thank you as a future teacher and a member of the lgbtq plus community also hashtag vote, vote blue uh true oh my god you're a future teacher i love that uh i was i mean my my career plan was to become a teacher um but since everything's closed right now i decided not to go to teacher's college um, but I'm still hoping possibly to be a teacher one day. I actually have some exciting stuff coming up um, soon, which is because I have a lot of family who are in teaching and um, I'm possibly going to be doing uh, like Zoom call. Like I'm going to do Zoom call presentations for schools for like their LGBTQ plus um, groups and stuff. So I can like I will Zoom call in and I'll educate people on like LGBTQ stuff um, and talk about like my activism and stuff because my cousin is uh, she's a, a teacher and she wanted me to come in and uh, do a little Zoom thing. And yeah, they're going to like pay me for it and stuff, which is really cool as well. Um, I mean, I was going to like I would have done it for free, but she was like, no, make sure you get paid for that stuff. And I was like, OK, shit, uh, like I'll help people for free. I don't care. But uh, it's it'd be cool to also like turn that into a possible like side job and um, and even come in and like inspire young young students to like be who they are and, you know, to express how they feel no matter what it is and to be open about their sexuality and like love who they are and stuff like that would be a dream because I could I could merge together my like activism like my youtube activism and stuff and also my like need to be a teacher <laughs> my need um me like wanting to help people and be a teacher uh andy said oh my god i can hook you up with my high school we're doing that stuff right now andy hook hook it up hook it up i would love to do that or and if anyone else's high schools uh <laughs> want to pay me to do that you know i'm down uh that would be fun um, that was all the letters, but the last thing I have is a, a beautiful big package, um, that we can open up. So Andy is networking hard. Like, honestly, it was so funny because on my, uh, on my Twitch live stream, I was telling everyone how bad I felt that like, I, like, I feel bad on the daily about Patreon. It's like, to me, I don't, I don't like the idea of people like paying, paying me money or like giving me like monetary support. That makes me feel so bad. Like, I don't even know how people are, are like sugar babies, you know, and have sugar daddies. Like I would feel so bad someone giving me money. Um, but Patreon, uh, I feel so bad sometimes. And I was telling them like some, I think about deleting my Patreon all the time. Cause I just feel so bad that people are like helping me in that way and uh andy and one of my other patrons kim and andy and kim were like if you they were like if you close your patreon you're we're coming for you <laughs> like they were like that's my family those are my friends this is my social interaction you can't close your patreon because we have like a little family yeah so i guess so guys um So thank you for saying that, though, Andy and Kim, because, damn, that made me feel good that I was like, okay, some people are okay with this. Um, I'm, like, trying to open up this. Also, okay, so this package, I don't want to show the address or anything. It's from Australia. I'm pretty sure this is one of my patrons, but I'll double check the name. How do I double check the name on Patreon? One second. Give me five seconds. I just want to make sure because, I mean, it could be someone else. But I'm pretty sure because I, I've spoken with her on um, different occasions. Patrons, relationship manager. Um.
Yes, Jennifer Chapman. Yeah, and she has the little koala bear. Yeah, so she's from Australia, definitely. Uh, I don't know if she's in the chat because it's early in the morning in Australia right now, but Jennifer is my patron. I'll have to message her after because this is so sweet. Um, uh, we've spoken before on like our Zoom calls and stuff, like our group Zoom calls. What's this? Um, but she sent me like a whole ass, like what's in here? I want to, I need to know. I'm like so excited to open this. I'll send her a nice little, little loving message after. Um, Fred Harvey said, you work hard. You do good. You deserve to be paid for it. And you're paid by people who want to, not have to. Stop. That made me feel better about my life. Thank you, Fred. Seriously, I, like I need to stop feeling bad about that stuff. But I just do. I don't even like when people buy me presents or pay. Like if someone pays for my dinner or something, like on a date, I like, I'll, I'll be sick to my stomach. I don't know what it is. I don't know how people like, I don't know. Sometimes when my mom, I remember once in high school, my mom bought me one of those like T TNA bags that were like really, you know, everyone wanted them in like middle school. Um, and I cried because it was $200 and she bought it for me. I cried for a whole day. And I was like, we have to bring it back because I felt so bad. I don't like when people spend money on me. Um, I'm using my uh, switchblade. Should I open it up? Don't fuck with me. Um, oh, it's starting to open. Ow. Oh. Alex, oh my god, Alex, no, okay. Alex, uh, super chat and said, LOL, I love you. I'd pay anything to help you out, even though you ignore my messages or something. Okay. I just had to put a disclaimer on my patron, Patreon that uh, I, m I, I wish you guys could see what my messages and my DM messages look like from my view because th they make no sense. And like messages will end up splitting up in like five different like Okay, I don't know how to explain this. I wish I wish I could show you what my DMs look like, but they look like a mess. So usually what I tell people is that like if you have another platform that you prefer to message on, like Instagram DMs or Twitter DMs, if you prefer that, let me know because it's easier for me to not do it on Patreon because the DMs there are so messed up. Like I I feel so bad because I miss most people's messages completely. Anyways, Alex, I will specifically go and find your messages and reply. I'm so sorry. I feel horrible. Um, yeah, I'm really bad at replying to messages to begin with, but I try. I, that's why I try to do a lot of, uh, Zoom calls because at least I can get around to those, but I'm so sorry, Alex. I love you with my whole heart. I will answer your message. I swear. It says caution when opening. Oh my God. I'm nervous. Oh God. Okay. There's a letter. I think that's everything. Okay. Well, okay, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. What could it be? Are, are you guys as excited as I am? Put an F in the chat if you're excited. Okay. Should we read the letter first? Let's read the letter first. I'm glad everyone's as excited as I as I am. Okay, everyone can stop with the Fs. Okay. Stop. Look at how like I feel like I just got into university or something. It's like one of those, like, it's so pretty. I'm also scared I'm going to like break whatever this present is. Okay. First of all, I want to make sure.
because there's so much like also I, I love the smell of packaging also this smells really good in general okay let's read the letter first I feel like I need to be all proper when I'm reading this. Christina. Oh, should I read it in an Australian accent? Chris, Christina. Okay. I, I hope this letter finds you in good health. My name is Jennifer. <laughs> I can't do it. Um, I'm an average 24-year-old Aussie girl. I love motorcycle riding. <laughs> is this bad? <laughs> I bought Australian accent. We should keep doing it. Oh, she has a, she's a real nice Australian accent. It's beautiful, but let me, let me, I'll try to read it. Okay. Ready? I bought a new motor, motor, motorcycle a few days before I posted this letter and I'm so excited to ride it. Oh my God. I've always wanted to ride a motorcycle. Okay. Um, I also love reading and having a nice cup of tea. In my opinion, tea isn't tea unless you put milk in it. Otherwise it's just flavored water. Um, okay. I don't like tea, but because I think it's just, it's literally just warm water. That I, that's why I don't like tea. I wish I want to love tea so bad because I like coffee and hot chocolate so much, but I, I hate tea. Actually, sometimes it's not bad, but I guess, yeah, if you put milk in it, yeah. the, okay, wait, we've got to get back in the Australian voice. The the book I've fuck why wow, no the the book I've gifted you is an Australian classic. I remember reading it as a teen, hanging around my grandparents' house. <laughs> I'm so bad at this accent. Uh, during summer, and I loved it. I haven't read it in years though. I'm hoping you'll find it as enjoyable as I did. Even if you don't read it for a while, I figured it's something. <laughs> I figured it's something to get around to on a lazy spring or summer day when you're outside in the sun relaxing. <laughs> I feel like I'm going in and out of like a British accent. Uh, relaxing or even on a cold winter's day when you're snuggled up inside on the couch or having a lazy day in bed. <laughs> I'm going into British now. Um, so we're going to have a long ass winter coming up in Canada. It's already snowing in Calgary. Uh, but honestly, uh, I will definitely, I needed something to read. So I will love to read this book when I'm all snuggled up and it's all snowy outside. I'll send you pictures. Um, well, okay. This is why it smells, smells so good because I think that she's about to explain what, what this is and then we'll open it, I guess. The, the koala I saw and immediately thought of you. It's lavender scented. And I thought, it might be something you could hold close when you're not feeling your best in hopes that you remember all those out there who love and care for you. Oh, I'm going to start crying. And that, and that, I can't even do this accent anymore. And that thought brings you comfort. I have a few lavender scented items which help me relax when I'm not in a good headspace. So I thought this might be a nice gift for you. Plus it's a koala and it's nearly as cute as you. This is so fucking cute. Uh, I just want to say that my my grandparents, my my grandma and my nono on my dad's side lived in Australia for a really long time. So we have so many koala things. Like I think for they lived there for like 10, 10 years or something like that. Uh, they lived in Australia. And uh, so we have a lot of like Australian, like I mean, th they're considered like family, but they're like friends of my grandparents. Um, so I'm really close with a lot of like Australian people, like the, the Australian, I guess, is very ingrained in my family because of how long my grandparents lived there. And uh, I'm so glad everyone rates my accent so much. Oh my God, what the hell? I watch, I watch way too much Australian TV. Um, I used to be so good at the accent, like so good that my friend had to like tell me I can't do it around her anymore because she gets triggered by the Australian accent. Uh, but I used to be so much better at it, but I never do it anymore. Um, but anyways, we, I've, I love koala things. Even my sister's birthday is on, like, Australia Day or whatever. Um, anyways, I started watching your video in late July, and I was immediately mesmerized by your passion and tremendous dedication to the things you realize to be unfair or downright repulsive behavior of an individual or faction of society. Wow, you sound so smart. I know, I know she's a... I'm pretty sure... Wait, are you... What was her... 
anyway, sorry. I'm, I, I'm anyways, I don't know why I can't speak right now. Um, I find your videos on the injustice surrounding minority groups, such as the LGBTQ plus community, sex industries and social media influencer behaviors or the larger issues surrounding racial discrimination to be incredibly enlightening and considered. Most people jump to conclusions and don't bother looking at the whole issue. I'm glad someone with your intelligence and passion decides to investigate all the information available and view it uh, and view it through as many eyes as possible before making the decision on where you stand. I'll be for I'll, I'll be forever I'll, sorry I'll forever be appreciative that you use your platform to discuss psychological and emotional health. I understand how opening up to anyone can be frightful and for you to show how vulnerable, how vulnerably human you are to mass to a mass of strangers warms my heart immensely in the knowledge that people know they're not alone. Um, and that they're thought of and cared for. You are so strong and such a beautiful person inside and out. I wish you all the happiness in the world. Take care of yourself, cutie, Jennifer. I'm going to send her such a nice message after. This was so sweet. Also, I hope she didn't get offended that I did the Australian accent. Um. God, this stuff makes me so happy. This makes it all... This makes all the mean messages worth it. Genuinely. And I'm so glad because... I don't, know, I don't mean to be all like, oh, like people are mean to me, but like I get, I'll get people who say that, you know, who say really mean things to me in comments, right? And I'll get comments that like most hate comments I don't give one shit about, but someone will dig deep on things because I don't ever want to be considered like a bad person. Um, but the fact that like someone can recognize that I do really try to like get a full picture before I make videos. Like I never want to be like, ha, you're canceled, bitch. Like I don't want to be one of those people. And I don't, you know, I'm not even too big on being politically correct all the time. I'm not too big on like, I'm, I hate cancel culture. Um, you know, I don't like social justice warriors who only do things online and don't actually care about the real subject. They just want to cancel people. Like, uh, you know, I don't, I like, I don't even support that stuff. And I get accused of being like an SJW sometimes. And I'm just like, no, those are keyboard warriors who only uh, care about subjects when they're behind a keyboard. They don't actually care about those real subjects. I genuinely care about LGBTQ people. I genuinely care about uh, women and, and men's rights. I really care about men's rights. And I think people a lot of time accuse me of being like a, you know, a feminine, a feminazi or whatever. I, do you know how much I care about men's mental health? I am such a mental health advocate that like, I think I, it hurts me when people think that I don't care about men and like I hate men and stuff. Like that hurts me because I care so much about men and so much about my guy friend. Like, first of all, this is my best guy friend sweater. Uh, love him to death. And I have so many guy friends that come to me and they'll tell me things about their mental health and they feel scared to go to their guy friends about it. I think that hurts me so much. That hurts me that guys feel like they can't go to their guy best friends and just be like, hey, dude, I fucking want to cry. You know, that makes me sad. Anyways, I love men, okay? As much as I joke about hating men, I love men. Um, as long as you're good people and not misogynistic. Anyways. Um, sorry, back to this. This makes me so happy because it's like when people genuinely can recognize that I'm not like this, this like lifeless person behind a screen and that I'm like a human and that, you know, I do really try hard to like get the full picture of things before I make videos on people and on like subjects. And this was such a well-written letter. Thank you so much. Oh my God. Um, I hope we all got a good laugh at my horrible Australian accent. Um, but it's my favorite accent. I've always said that I want to wake up every day besides someone with an Australian accent. Men, women, non-binary. Please, anyone who's Australian want to marry me? Also, I was I was planning to uh, I was planning to apply to university to like teachers college in Australia because where I am, the province I'm in in Canada 
has an equivalency program in Melbourne, Australia and in Sydney, Australia. And I was going to apply to do schooling there, but I couldn't afford it. It was way too expensive. But now I'm making money with YouTube and I'm like trying to save up as much as I can. And possibly I can afford to go what like once the world opens back up and everything's safe, I could possibly afford to go to Australia and do teacher's college. How cool would that be? Anyways, I would love that. I love Australia. It's I except I really hate spiders. Anyways, so this is uh, apparently an Australian classic, which I'm fucking, I'm going to read it. When I read it at night, I'm going to do it in my Australian accent because I need to practice. Someone said H2O vibes and I actually laughed really hard because um, I used to love, oh, it has a bookmark. I, I've been wanting a bookmark so bad. You know, okay, I was re I was rereading the Divergent series because if you didn't know, it's my favorite book series. Yeah, I'm crazy. Um, uh, uh, and I I literally use the wrapper of a Nutrigrain bar as a bookmark. So I needed that. Look at how pretty it is. It has a little wolf on it. Oh my god, I'm so happy right now. Also, everyone who's saying H2O. Cleo! No! Cleo! What are you doing? No! <laughs> you can't go in the water! <laughs> Cleo! No! Cleo! What are you doing? What are what are the other one's names again? Oh. <laughs> I just snorted fuck um so the book is called picnic at hanging rock I can't anyone love a good crisp new book like look at how nice that is I can't believe she bought me or got me this so let's read the back of this if her terrified cries had been heard by anyone but a wallaby squatting in a clump of bracken a few feet away the picnic at Hanging Rock might yet have been just another picnic on a summer's day. On a cloudless Valentine's Day in 1900, a group from Apple Yard College for young ladies goes for a picnic. In the heat of the afternoon sun, three girls climb through the scrub and disappear. Ethereal and enigmatic? I don't even know what that means. That's a big word. Um, <laughs> picnic at Hanging Rock has been haunting the Australian imagination for half a century. Ooh, I'm actually pumped to read this. This sounds so good. It's like an Australian classic. Picnic at Hanging Rock. <laughs> My accent's so bad. Oh, I'm pumped to read this over the winter. I'm so excited with my new... With my new... Oh my god. Look at this, guys. I don't have to use a Nutrigrain bar wrapper anymore. Just saying. Just saying. Look at that. Look at that. I'm so happy right now. I'm all giddy with joy. I had a bad few weeks, so I feel like this is, like, so nice. I'm so happy right now. It smells like lavender. Welcome to the wonderful world of lavender. The lavender inside your teddy has been lovingly grown in Australia and is free of pesticides and chemicals. To renew the rich scent of the lavender, just give your teddy a rub and a squeeze <laughs> to release more perfume. To wash the teddy, please remove the lavender first. Oh, is there... There's like lavender actually in the teddy bear. Lavender is a plant that has grown in many parts of Australia. It has soft silver foliage with small purple flowers and a pleasant perfume. Uh, lavender can be used in many ways. Lavender may help relieve headaches, anxiety, stress, insomnia, depression, exhaustion, and restlessness. It can help ease breathing difficulties associated with coughs, 
cold, and influenza, lavender may be linked to increased cognitive function and it promotes greater accuracy in learning and understanding. Lavender helps repel insects such as mosquitoes, moths, flies, and fleas. It can ease the symptoms of digestive disorders such as nausea, vomiting, and upset stomachs. Lavender can be used as a personal perfume and as scented additions to drawers and cupboards. Lavender helps promote deep, restful sleep and restores body and soul. Uh, did you know I'm an insomniac? Because this is so amazing. It smells so good. I wish you guys could smell it. Also, if you didn't know, I guess you guys can't see my bed anymore because it used to be in my background. But my bed... Um, my bed has so many stuffed animals on it because I'm a I'm a nerd and I like collect stuffed animals since I was a kid. So look at how cute. Look at how cute. I'm going to sleep with this every single night and every time every time I feel like my channel, you know, I should shut it down, which I have that a moment like once a day where I'm like my channel's going nowhere. This will remind me that my channel actually means something and it's done a lot of good. Um and it's even in a even if just one person, it's done something special. So, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I'm gonna, after this live stream, I'm just gonna go cry. If you guys don't know, I cry a lot. Um, sorry, there's a super chat by uh, Olivia. I, I remember you've super chatted before and we talked about that a fact that I can't pronounce your name, but it's Wizards or Weird, 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 Weird Sure. <laughs> Sorry, Olivia. Uh, hey, it's so good to see you again. And I hope you're doing well. Greetings from Poland. I don't know if you heard what's going on here, but it's getting crazy. So you weren't here earlier, uh, but I did talk very briefly that I got a lot of DMs uh, from people asking me to uh, like research the Poland stuff and make a video on it. So I'm going to be doing that. It's absolutely crazy. I heard that there, uh, it, there's like big changes happening with women's rights and like abortion rights. And I think that's insane. Also, a, a lot of like LGBTQ stuff as well so sad but i'm researching it like if you can see all my tabs on my computer right now it's all like poland research um so arthur day super chatted you would be an amazing teacher if you pursue it i have a question about being by gender can can you be by gender while having a preference in clothing yeah so by gender although it falls in the like spectrum of uh like trans and non-binary uh well mo mostly non-binary and stuff it it more has to do with how you present as your gender more than what you, because at least for my understanding of it. Um, so I definitely, I mean, most of the time I look like this. Like I don't, I don't really dress one way or another. I would say most of the time I dress kind of gender neutrally uh, or, or more towards like the male side, I guess. Uh, if you notice most of my videos, I'm just wearing sweaters and stuff, but I do like wearing makeup um or putting makeup on and doing my hair and stuff but I think there are bi-gendered people who prefer one or the other and that's totally fine it's just you kind of it's different than gender fluidity I think in the sense that um but it's also sim like I always say gender fluid sounds right for me because I flow freely between genders if that makes sense um but I think bi-gendered was just the the word that made the most sense for me because gender fluidity is the description is a little bit different than the way the name might perceive itself. Yeah. I don't know if that makes any sense though. Because I do like dressing very girly sometimes, but sometimes I like to dress like a boy. Sometimes I like to dress very gender neutrally. Um, Also, last thing, I just want to say thank you so much to Jennifer for this. This is literally the cutest thing ever. I'm so happy right now. I love, I love so much. I love. Um, Erwin Meyer, Meyer uh, says, hi, Christina. Can you do a video on the protest in Thailand? I, I haven't heard about this yet. Uh, what's going on in Thailand? Um, Maybe let's let's take a look. See what are um, and people are asking my pronouns. I have my pronouns in like most of my bios, but I sometimes I guess people don't see my bios. I go by she or they. I don't mind though. You can literally call me he, she, they. I don't. 
like pronouns don't really bother me. Um, Ali Wiley, Willie Wiley says, Hey, Christina, I grew up in a small conservative town and it was amazing to find someone who has the same opinions. Love you and keep going. Oh, I'm so glad. Um, I'm sorry to hear that you grew up in, you know, a, a small conservative town. Those can be hard because you feel, uh, almost suppressed in your own viewpoints. Uh, I'm glad you could find an outlet online to like learn more about your views, uh, or what you would like always think because you know I, I don't ever agree with people just blindly following what their parents believe or whatever um so I'm glad uh you able you were able to educate yourself and not just like blindly follow people um yeah that's wonderful I love you thank you so much I'm glad you support my content and me I love how I'm just like holding this um Angelina XOXO says, hi, Christina, how do you research topics? Do you just Google topics and click on every link? I'm trying to prepare for some debates. Um, so basically, I mean, um, I don't know if you're in like high school or in university or something, but usually as you get older, um, there'll be a lot of classes that teach you like primary and secondary sources and how to find um, like peer reviewed sources and stuff. So I think I learned a lot about that in university because you need, whenever you like cite all your sources, you have to have like peer reviewed sources. So I think that's helped me. Sometimes I just, uh, I'll, I'll go to certain websites that I already know have like information on the topic. Um, but I think I find, I don't even cite all my sources to be honest, because I, I use a lot of sources, but, um, a lot of it is like finding, I would say a good starting point Okay. You know how when you're in school, they're like, oh, never go to Wikipedia because Wikipedia, like you can edit Wikipedia and sometimes the information's wrong. But if you go on Wikipedia of whatever you're searching, so say you, the topic you're searching is uh, like transgender rights or whatever, and you go to the Wikipedia page for it, and you, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, it'll have all the sources linked. So I always find that that's a great way to start off because um, there's sources at the end of like the Wikipedia page. And those are usually really good sources that were used for the inf information on Wikipedia. So I always think that's a good way to um, uh, to have like a starting point to like uh, find other uh, good sources. Um, but yeah, sometimes it can be hard, though. Sometimes I get lazy <laughs> and uh if I already like somewhat know the information and I can find it on a random website. Um, but yes. Um, Melanie said, I love how even though your videos often get demonetized, you keep making videos about what you believe in and what is right. Your opinion is so important and lightning. Love you. Oh, thank you. You're so sweet. Yeah, sometimes it's hard because I get a little demoralized when I get demonetized um, because I'm like, damn, uh, I could be making way more money than I am. Uh, but uh, I would rather talk about the stuff. I would rather not do not saying that the like other YouTubers are stupid and like, you know, oh, their stuff is like meaningless or whatever. No, I'm not saying that. Like, I love makeup videos. Don't get me wrong. Um, but I would rather not suppress my content. I would rather um, answer. Who am I answering? Random cat and her question. Well, hi, Christina. Any tips on coming out? I'm 11 and trans. I know I've already asked this. Hi, baby. You're so young. Um, I would definitely say um, if you're not ready yet, don't don't feel like an immense amount of pressure to come out like right away I like, don't if you feel even a little bit unsure or whatever like just take your time if you feel unsafe doing so you know you can find communities you know online you can find communities in your community I know it's hard maybe if there's any um like support groups at school or something that would be really great to join um if you know any other uh like trans people in your community you can go to like privately for help um if you think that your parents are going to be loving and accepting that's totally amazing uh, my grandparents like trump oh, okay shit well um uh but <laughs> um um you know you're so young right now though give yourself time to like learn and grow and really like understand who you are um you know you're you're so young and um 
uh, I think it's wonderful that you're, you're, I mean, that you're coming into knowledge about yourself, but like, don't feel pressured to like come out as, as soon as you can, if it, it makes you feel more secure and more comfortable, if you think your family will accept you. Um, I think that's amazing, but if you can keep educating yourself online, um, talk to other people, other communities online, try to find some safe spaces. Um, there's a lot of other trans people in like, even in this chat, like um, a lot of our like discord mods are like non-binary and uh, trans. If you want to talk to some people on discord as well, like you can join my discord and um, find some support there. I think that would be really important. Uh, yeah. But just know that you're valid, whatever you're feeling is valid and don't feel pressure to put a label on yourself uh, or come out as quickly as you can just get to know yourself and uh, anything you're feeling is is valid, sweetie, sweetheart, little baby. Oh, on Discord, you got told what? Not, I hope not on my Discord. If anyone ever said that on my Discord, I would kick that person out so quick. Um... And Grim Reaper 123 said, Hi, just watch a bunch of your videos. Very cool. I enjoy your video. Have you been to Australia? It is hot here. I've never been to Australia, but I really want to go. But I know it's really hot. I'm used to cold weather though. Um I'm just chilling here with my little koala. I'm just reading the chat. Sorry. I hope that advice helped. I really don't know if it did, to be honest. Um, I am not trans. So uh, uh, me, you know, that's a completely different experience. I think being, you know, being trans is a completely different experience than being non-binary than is a very different experience from being you know, by gendered, which is a very different experience from being gay, which is a very different experience from being bi. Like, I think they're all like, although they all fall under the same kind of like umbrella category, uh, the experiences are very different. So I cannot give like specific advice. Uh, you know, I am not trans. Uh, I, um, but I hope I could give the best advice I could. I, you know, I, that's what I give advice to all people coming out. Just like, take your time. Um, So I'm going to ask how I feel about socialism and Marxism. I actually, <laughs> when I was uh, getting ready this morning, I mean, I was putting on moisturizer and stuff. I put on a, a lecture. I, I willingly put on a lecture about um, Marxism um, because I was, I wanted to listen more, but uh, I'm a democratic socialist. So um, I agree with some parts of like democracy, you know, and like a somewhat like partial capitalistic society um, that gives people the opportunity to grow. But uh, I, am, I am definitely leaning towards uh, socialism and the ideas of like a transition into a communist society. Hello, fellow comrades. Um, Uh, Grim Reaper one two three says, "Don't worry about spiders. Look out for those drop bears. What are drop bears? Like koala bears? What are drop bears? I've heard the spiders in Australia are like, like ginormous." Mm. Someone, <laughs> yeah, I ain't a socialist or a communist. Well, maybe I should be. <laughs> Just saying. 
Socialism is the way to go. Watch you guys hate me for that. No, I don't hate you for that. Everyone, like, I mean, as long as you're not supporting, like, horrible things, I mean, everyone learns in their own, uh, everyone learns in their own time as well. Like, I didn't even know what socialism was until, um, you know, I, I, uh, cause I specialize in political philosophy until I had a class where they literally gave us like the communist manifesto when we learned about it. Drop bears are made up to scare people. Also. Hi, Josh. Also. Yes. I, I, sorry, Josh, I DM'd you on Twitter. I don't know if you saw it, but I'm sorry for the, I gave you a late reply again. I'm so bad at Patreon. I talked about that earlier before you, you jumped in here, but also I hope your test went well. Because I know you missed the last Zoom call because of a test. I'll also get around to answering the big message you sent me. It's just hard to answer one on like a different platform. Anyways, I'm, I'll stop apologizing. I'm too Canadian. Um, my favorite color is blue. Ava asked what my favorite color was. It's blue. Blue, pretty blue. And if you haven't seen what my like my bedroom looks like, everything's blue. The walls are blue. My bed sheets are blue. My pillows are blue. My rug is blue. My life is blue. <laughs> I'm depressed. Uh... Um, I also have food because I haven't eaten anything all day. So if you have mesophonia, which is like an auditory issue where you can't stand like, here, <laughs> should we have a mukbang? <laughs> hey guys. Welcome back to my ASMR channel. <laughs> Should I make an ASMR channel? Oh no, am I lagging? I'm getting mixed messages. Some of you are like, yeah. Some of you are like, no. Oh, where to put this? <laughs> ah! Oh, I dropped. <gasps> no, baby. Come back here. What would you want to put? What would you want to put? I dropped him. What should I name him? Let's think of names. Are you guys making fun of the color on my camera? I know it's warm toned. I don't know how to fix it. Do you guys know how to fix it? Oh, I'm lagging. It's because we've been on this Zoom call for way too long. That's probably why I'm lagging. Ew, who said name him ACB? No, I'll name him AOC. How do you take out the lavender? Oh, there's lavender. <gasps> <gasps> I'm sorry, is this inappropriate? We're opening him up. Oh my God, there's actual lavender. Like in him. That's so cute. Okay, I'm going to put him right here. And I don't know if you guys can hear me because I moved the mic away a little bit, but I'm going to eat my food. I'm 
I'm so sorry, everyone. Someone just said, babe, is that a fucking pickle? <laughs> yep. Um, Chicken Time Bomb said, what do you uh, think about demisexuality? I'm pretty sure I'm demisexual. To be honest. Because I used to think I was possibly asexual. <laughs> But then I was like, no, I'm not. Um, I'm just, I prefer to, uh, I'm, okay, I'm not, I'm not 100% on this definition, but I'm pretty sure demisexual is like, you, um, you prefer, like, you are attracted to, like, rom like the romantic part of a relationship. Um, and, uh, as opposed to the sexual side and you can be sexual with someone who you're in a romantic relationship with, but it, it comes with the romantic part. That would be me. <laughs> um, uh, no shade to anyone who likes to do stuff outside, you know, like casual stuff outside of a relationship. I just can't like, it's, it's like not enjoyable for me. Um, Yeah. Andy said, a person who is demisexual only feels sexually attracted to someone once they've made a strong emotional connection. Facts! That's me! Yeah. I don't, like, I don't, I can't, I, like, don't understand people who aren't demisexual. Sometimes when people are like, oh, yeah, I'm just, like, casual, all, like, stuff, I'm just, like, I don't even enjoy kissing someone I'm not, like, I don't know, unless I'm really drunk. <laughs> then I'll do it, but... You guys just get to watch me eat. Oh my god, someone said, so I'm bi, but can't tell if I'm being, <laughs> if I'm just being bi for attention or if I'm actually just hetero. Oh, I lost it. Um, I used to think that all the time. Until I realized that. And you have those moments where you're like, nah, like, I actually like girls. Like, I used to try to convince myself, like, I was faking it. I was like, oh, my God, I just want to be, like, I just want to be, like, other people. I just want to be special. And then I'm like, well, why would you want to be something that, like, a lot of people look down on? You know, some people think that, like, bisexuality is, like, cute or, like, hot or whatever. But it's like, I literally went on a date with a girl and we walked around holding hands and got dirty looks from people. You know what I mean? So it's like, why would you, why would I put myself through that if I didn't actually, I don't know. I think it's important to have those contemplations because if you actually want to figure out like maybe I, you know, maybe I don't actually have those feelings I'm just exploring or I'm just experimenting. Totally understandable. But I think don't always gas, don't gaslight yourself. You know what I mean? Don't think, don't tell yourself you're crazy because of like feelings you feel. You know, I used to do that. I was like, oh, I don't actually like girls. I just like, I want attention. No, I actually liked girls. And also, sorry, I'm eating in my mouth, or talking about them. There's different, um, there's like bisexuality is like a spectrum. You don't have to be like 50-50, you know what I mean? You can like girls in a romantic sense, in a sexual sense. You can like guys in one or the other, you know. You can like one more than the other. Like, it's a spectrum. And don't put too much pressure on yourself. This is what I always tell people. I'm like, don't put pressure on yourself to have a label. 
If you think you might like girls, you don't need to call yourself bisexual. You can call yourself bi-curious or whatever. Just don't be one of those people who's like, <laughs> I'm spicy straight. Fuck those people. You're just straight. Hetero flexible. Um, random cat, um, the, the discord link is in the description of all of my YouTube videos. Um, it should like, it'll say like, let's connect. And then it should say discord and then I look like a chipmunk. Mm. Oh, I'm sitting on something. Are we naming him Pickles the Koala? <laughs> he smells so good. He smells like lavender. A little lavender. Sorry if everyone's bored and I'm just eating, but I'm hungry. I'm very hungry right now. I always worry because... Um, I do a lot of accents, like, in real life. Like, I'll just randomly break into an accent... And I'm genuinely scared that one day I'm just going to break into an accent and not realize, because I don't even know what accents I do. I just kind of say them, um, that I'm going to like offend someone or be like, someone's going to be like, you're culturally appropriate or you're like offending a bunch of people. And I'm like, I don't even know what accent I just did. Because me and my friends used to do this accent in high school. It was really funny. But sometimes I worry people think I'm like making fun of someone's accent. We literally just made it up, but... POV, you're dating me, and you click onto my live stream, I'm, I'm talking with my mouth open, and you instantly get the X, and you don't want to date me anymore. Could you imagine... <laughs> Who would break up with you? I could name a few that have. I don't know. I honestly, sometimes, okay. This morning, I was on the toilet peeing. You know, a little morning pee. And I have like this mirror that's like right beside my toilet. And I was like looking at myself and I was like, wow, like, how, like, how does it, I'm the best. <laughs> My god complex slipped in. I was like, you, I'm so cute. I'm fucking funny. I'm a really nice person. I'm really cute and like romantic. And I make little presents for people I'm dating and shit. I'm fun to be around. I'm fun to bring around your friends. 
Um, maybe I'm a little opinionated and a little bit crazy, but I, I put a little spice into a relationship. Why don't people date me? And I realized I'm too good for everyone. That's the reason. That's the real reason. No one deserves all of this. <laughs> I say as I'm like putting turkey in my mouth. I'm like, nobody deserves this. I'm just, that's what I'm going to keep telling myself to help me sleep better at night, to be honest. Nobody deserves me. I'm too good for everyone. I saw someone say they really want a boyfriend because they've never had one. Honestly, it's overrated. Don't do it. Don't. Uh, zero to ten would not recommend. I'm, imagine liking <clears throat> men. <laughs> imagine liking straight men. Wow. Couldn't be me, sis. I'm kidding. <laughs> Someone said, imagine having the confidence for a relationship. I would say that's the number one important thing is that you know you're ready for a relationship when you actually, like, love yourself. Because the reason I think that, like, I mean, let's not put the blame on me. The relationship I've been in were fucked. But a big, a big reason why I couldn't figure out how to navigate relationships when I was in them was because I hated myself. And because I hated myself, I needed a constant validation from the person I was dating and they almost would get annoyed because I needed them to, like, tell me that they were obsessed with me and loved me at all moments. And I would freak out if they didn't because I was like, oh, so you don't like me? Like, probably really annoying. I was very insecure. Like, I look back at my... Well, I had... I have had... I'll say I had one very serious relationship. And I look back at that relationship and I'm like, bro, I was so insecure. Like, I, who was that? Like, why was that? I have, like, a God complex now. But, like, I was so insecure. I literally was worried about all the wrong people, too. A kid was cheating on me, but I was, like, worried about the wrong girls, you know? But I would say some of the best advice I can give or the things that I've learned is that, you know, that quote, like, you can't love someone until you learn to love yourself. That's fucking a lie. You can love someone. I fucking loved my ex. Like an unhealthy amount. But you can't love someone. You can't love someone in a healthy way unless you love yourself. You will always be in an unhealthy relationship. You will always love someone in the most toxic ways if you don't love yourself. Because when you get into a relationship, uh, I almost find if you don't love yourself, you love the other person more, right? Because you're putting all the love you should be putting into yourself, into that person. So you're pouring all of the love that should be poured into you into another person. And that just drains you out. And then you put that person on a pedestal and it's this like uneven balance. And uh, I don't know if that makes sense, but you don't need to love yourself to love someone else. But it will always be unhealthy if you don't love yourself. If that makes sense.
Um, Beth super chatted and said, I've realized how weird it is that people will be so vocal about being pro-life yet hunt animals for sport like they don't be making no sense. Okay. Generally, this always, always confused me. And hey, because I'm like, if you're going to be pro-life, you better be vegan. <laughs> like, you're going to sit here and be pro-life. You better be vegan. Or else you're just a contradiction. And they have arguments for a bunch of it, right? But the the thing that's so confusing is that there'll literally be people, especially the ones who, like, love guns so much, but then are super pro-life. And I'm like, but you're you're not even killing for a reason. Some of them just killed so they could, like, have a little moose head or some shit on their... I don't like when people hunt animals for sport. Like, I don't... I'm not the biggest into, like, animal rights. I do think... Animals should be treated humanely, and you should uh, focus on getting your meat sources from from local places that treat um, the animals like properly. I think humans were meant to eat animals. We literally were. That's why animals exist. Do you think animals care about other animals or us? No. It's called the circle. It's like the circle of life or whatever. We are meant to eat animals, just like animals eat other animals. It's the food chain. Also, being vegan and vegetarian can be really bad for the um, planet as well. So, that's something to consider. To someone say being vegan is the best for the planet? If everyone went... Sorry, I was about to yell. There's only my teeth. If everyone in the world went vegan, the world would be in fucking trouble because you aren't able to mass produce that many vegetables. It makes no sense. You know, there are places in like... There are huge places that are being... What's the word? completely like there are places that are being completely like deforested deforest there was like why can i speak today deforestation because um when you have to mass produce plants for how many people go vegan i don't think humans are meant to be completely like meat eaters There's a lot of different things. <laughs> There's a lot of research you can do on how bad being vegan is for the environment, but I don't know all of it. Um, Anna said, I hate being, I hate when vegan people, um, sorry, vegan shame people for not being vegan. I completely agree. Um, I don't think that's right. And I had someone message me being like, you just hate animals. You're not actually um, whatever. You don't actually care about life. Excuse you. Um, actually, I probably know more about this than you. Because <laughs> I did a lot of animal ethics in my, uh, in my university degree. Thank you very much. If you want, I can bring up uh, the textbook I have called The Sexual Politics of Animals. We learned way too much about bioethics and like animal ethics and stuff in my program. Yeah. Um, the vegan teacher on TikTok Sorry, I'm bringing this closer to me. Uh, if you guys don't know, I'm I'm like TikTok friends with uh, Joe Robe. I don't know why he followed me, but he did. I was like, yes, sir. I wonder if I can fix 
this so it's a little bit lower. Is that better? Do, 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 do. Okay, guys, it's 8.40. I think um, I'm going to go soon. Um, just because we've been here for a while and I want to go watch a scary movie with my parents. Um, I'm going to make them watch a scary movie with me. Also, to my patrons who are in this chat, we still need to watch Hocus Pocus. I totally forgot about that. Um, we're going to have a movie night uh, still even after um, Halloween because I'm, I'm going to make you guys watch a scary movie with me. We have to watch Hocus Pocus. We're going to pick one scary movie to watch together. I think we're going to make movie night like a thing um, on Patreon. I just don't know how we would do it. Like, would I share screen and we all watch it together? I'll have to buy some popcorn or some shit. I was thinking of making my parents watch uh, Insidious. But I was recently watching a James Charles video. And he said uh, that his favorite scary movies were Sinister. And I, I like wanted to check them out because I think he he's like he knows a lot about scary movies. Um, Sinister. Uh, what was the other one? Shit. As above, so below. Um, and what was the other one? He said they were his like top three, but I want to see them. I don't know why, but I don't like scary movies. Don't scare me. Which is so funny because. I didn't watch my first scary movie until um, fucking almost grade nine because I was so terrified. I used to be like, I could not watch anything. Like the movie Scream the first time I watched it, which is kind of like a joke, like funny horror movie. Um, scared the absolute shit out of me. Like could not sleep. And now it's like one of my favorite movies, period. Um I don't know how to pronounce your name. Dehaval? Yes? Is there other leftist YouTubers you watch, like uh, Rational, National, or Humanist Report? Um, I watch a lot of leftist YouTubers. Um, like, I watch The Young Turks and stuff. I watch... Um, I, have to, I honestly don't know a lot of their names, to be honest. I watch, like, um, Vosh, Vosh. I don't know how to pronounce names. Um... I watch ContraPoints. I watch um, what's the other ones? There's something, the something report, but I don't know if it's the humanist report. I obviously watch Jimmy Snow, uh, formerly known as Mr. Atheist. He does a lot more political commentary now. Um, who else am I subscribed to that's leftist? If you didn't know, me and Jimmy Snow were like really good friends. Grim Reaper 123 said Netflix party, Amazon party, Disney party, f go for gold. Okay. Netflix party. Okay. So they have like an option for that. Maybe that's a good option. I also know they have like a Google meetup thing where you can do that as well. Um, thank you though for the those. I'll have to write them down. Is Sam Collins, would you consider him leftist? Does someone say that? Okay, so... I just want to say, uh, Sam, okay, I've always been, like, a big fan of Sam's content, right? Uh, speaking of which, he just DM'd me. <laughs> uh, but, uh, so, me and Sam have kind of been, like, friends, like, I guess, like, sort of friends since uh, we both were getting, like, sued. Like, uh, all of us that were getting sued, like, followed each other and messaged each other and stuff. But I didn't keep in contact, like, with a lot of them. We still follow each other, but it's, like, a lot of them are really busy. But, like, Sam has been the consistent person that I've, like, stayed in contact with since we followed each other. And genuinely, I was, like, are we friends? Like, are, like, are we friends now? And um, 
Oh yeah, someone someone mentioned Hassan Piker. I talked about him earlier in the stream, just saying, but we'll get to that in a second. But Sam, literally, he sent me one of his videos a few weeks ago and was like, Christina, I really like respect you and I need your opinion. Like, what do you think about this? Like, is there anything I can change about this video? Like, did I like ask for my opinion? And I was like, dude, are we best friends? Like, I was literally cried. I was like, are we best friends right now? And he asked me to come on his podcast and I asked him to come on my podcast. When I get it up and running, I'm so sorry, guys. That, that's so delayed. Um, but yeah, that was like the happiest moment of my life. I was like, are we best friends? <laughs> yeah, I told him that because his uh, fiance is from Canada, right? And he's uh, he like comes to visit her uh, sometimes. So I was like, move to Canada. You guys should just move to Canada together and we can be best friends. <gasps> Sam's doing an Among Us stream. You should join him. I would love that, bro. Yeah, I love Sam. He's so funny and he has like the perfect like dry humor that's like, that fucking hilarious. Do, 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 do. Okay, we're going to end the stream at 9 p.m. my time. So in 12 minutes. That's okay, guys. I really thought the beginning of my last video was fucking hilarious. I hope you all thought so too. My dad did not understand it. He was like, I don't. What does that mean? What does sus mean? I was like, Dade, Dade, let me describe to you what, what this means. I thought very funny. Very funny. It's very funny. What are these accents? Who knows? <laughs> see, I feel like this is why I don't like live streams because you guys get to see what I really am like. And it's not, it's weird. This is why nobody liked me. This is why I got bullied. Because I would do shit like this and everyone would be like, oh, the worst is when I was in the really toxic environment I was in like a few years ago and everyone there hated me and bullied me and I would say something funny. Like I'm funny. Okay. I like to think that I'm like kind of funny and I would say something funny and the girls would like do one of these where they'd be like, <laughs> and they would like look at each other. And like, like, they would kind of do one of those like, <laughs> God, did you hear what she just said? Like, ugh. and I was literally like, that was fucking comedy gold, bitch. That was comedy gold. Clearly you all suck. <laughs> I hate people. I hate people who just think they're cool by doing that. Like, they just like, <laughs> like, you know, you're just like. Fuck, it's not working. Try try to do that to me now, now that I have self-esteem and self-confidence. Try to do that to me now, I dare you. I used to just sit and take everything, bro. I used to just sit there and go, ha, guess I'm not funny. Genuinely, for three years, I just thought I wasn't funny, so I stopped talking and I stopped being my outgoing self and I, I probably sucked back then. I'm sorry to anyone who knew me back then because I probably fucking sucked. I just stopped talking because every time I spoke, I would get made fun of. So it took a long time to become this again. <laughs> took, a, took quite some time to be me. Honestly, I think back to it. I'm like, bro, if that happened to me today, I'd be like, oh, I'd be so, I'd be such a bitch back to them. But back then I was like, I just want these people to like me. I just, I want to be liked by these horrible human beings. I, I want to be accepted by these actual terrible human beings who hate me. Why? I want to look at little me and just be like, why did you want to be accepted so badly by those people? Honey, they were shitty. Like, yeah, they were like my idols though. So that sucked. <laughs> imagine, it's like, imagine meeting me and I bully you. I'm not saying that I'm your guys' idol or whatever, but like, you know, imagine meeting someone like you looked up to and they were, they were just like, <laughs> you loser, like. That was me. I met I met my heroes and they disappointed me. Uh, Deborah Ariola. <laughs> Ari Ariola? 
I'm sorry if I said that because Areola is like a nipple. <laughs> but if that's their last name, that's a sick last name. I love that. Uh, do you believe in a type of higher power or just completely atheist? I would love to see a YouTube video about you talking about it. I actually want, I've been saying this for months that I want to get into religious content and I just have not. So thank you for your message and super chat. But I would like to talk about that more. I don't believe in anything. <laughs> I don't even believe in astrology, um, which my sister hates me for. Um... Yeah, I don't believe in anything. I don't believe in anything. I've, I was saying this the other day. I don't believe in anything but myself. I think, therefore, I am, which is uh, philosophy by Rene Descartes. That means I have a consciousness. That means I exist. I am a being. But beyond that, we can't prove that anything else exists. Like, right now, I think that I'm talking on a live stream to 332 people. But I could just be making this all up in my head. This could all be just like me having like a manic episode or some shit. And I'm making it. I don't even know. The only thing we know is that we exist because we can think. Um, Rebecca Sweet Music said, I would love to see you make a video about Amy Coney Barrett. I will. I'm planning on it, but I thought I would have more time before she had her fucking stupid coronation or whatever. I don't know how the Supreme Court moved that fucking quickly. I thought I'd have more time to be like, this is why she sucks. And I'm like, oh, well, she's in the Supreme Court now, so there's not much I can say. I mean, there's not much I would have been able to do before, but... Um, <laughs> Andy coronation. <laughs> I didn't know what else to call it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do, 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 do. Someone said I look so pretty today. I'm wearing no makeup. I thought maybe like I put a bit of like eyebrow in. That's it though. Because I was like, maybe I should cover my dark eye because I have naturally like no matter how much sleep I get, I will always have dark circles. Um, but yeah, I also got no sleep this week. So my dark circles are raging. My skin's very clear though. Can you guys can see how my skin's pretty clear. My eczema's healing up on my eyes. My eyelashes are growing back. You can see I have little gaps in my eyelashes because I have a hair loss disorder. Um, but yeah, once my eyelashes grow back, I just want to let you guys know that it's over for you, bitches. Once my eyelashes grow back, it's over for you, bitches. It's done. None of you will compete once my eyelashes grow back. It's over. Stop trying. <laughs> yeah. But thank you for calling me pretty. <laughs> I needed to hear that. Someone sent my skincare products. Um, I watch a lot of skincare by Hiram, so I bought the CeraVe moisturizer i also have i use i use a my mar micellar water to take off my makeup um what else do i use oh i um i use the ordinary serums because they started selling them at sephora and they're like really cheap for like really good serums yeah i have the hyaluronic acid I hope one day I become big enough for Hiram to like review my skincare routine. That's the goal. And then I have the niacinamide, niacinamide and zinc um, serum. Yeah. And then sometimes I use bio oil, but like on my skin. 
It's good for stretch marks and scarring. Um, yeah, I think that's all for my, my skincare is very simple. Um, I also sometimes use uh, retinol, but like very rarely. Um, I'm very scared of getting wrinkles, but I know I'm already forming them on my forehead because I do this a lot. I make a lot of facial expressions. That's my problem. So I do a lot of like, you know, so I know I'm going to get wrinkles, but I just want to like, maybe I'll age gracefully. Someone said my Nike hoodie is on point. It's my best friend's. He let me borrow it because I was really cold. Because um, uh, uh, it was back when the like restaurants were open. But uh, him and my other, like my two best guy friends were coming to meet me at the bar. And I was like, it's freezing out. Can someone please bring me a sweater? And so he brought me like this sweater. And it's like, it's, he told me it's way too big on him. And I was like, it's perfect. I love it. It's wonderful. I'm obsessed. Um, oh, Beth said, hey, I'm the person who mentioned about trick in a previous stream. Could I DM you and ask you some questions? Yeah, you could DM, do. Do you prefer Instagram? If you DM me, I'll probably end up seeing it uh, soon ish. Um, but yeah, that's the hair loss disorder I have. Um, it's been the worst thing ever. I hate it. If there's one thing I could change about myself. It would be not having that. Um. Yeah, but I've always wanted to do like a video because I want to do a series about my mental health issues because I have so many. <laughs> and uh... yeah, we hate losing hair. Um, someone asked, hi, Christina, what size, uh, sweatshirt, what, what size sweatshirt size <laughs> do you wear? I'm asking so I can send a piece of my artwork. Oh my God. That's so cute. I, well, I usually wear like a size medium or a size large, like depending on like if the sweater fits big or if it's like smaller. Um, uh, so yeah, or it depends the look I'm going for. Like this one's like pretty freaking big but um i usually fit a medium or, or large just because i'm really tall and i have like i have long ass arms <laughs> who wants a hug big hugs um yeah so either a medium or a large usually oh does everyone want to come in for like a group hug right now Everything's going to be okay. You're doing great, kiddo. I love you. You're valid and beautiful. Hopefully that made everyone feel good. Uh, Jacob Rothstein said, Hey, Christina, I hope you're doing well tonight. This election has got me really nervous right now, but I'm so glad I found your channel. You're keeping it real. Thank you, Jacob. You're so sweet. Uh, I know. I feel like everyone's so stressed and I feel so bad. I'm so sad for everyone, especially like, I mean, I know in Canada, like we're stressed and we're not in America, uh, but it's because, you know, a lot of things like end up affecting us a lot. But uh, my heart is going out to everyone in America right now who's feeling like the anxiety of it all. Um, I'm glad that my videos can be a kind of little like safe place where you can have a good giggle and uh, learn a bit more. Um, but thank you so much for supporting me. I'm glad you found my channel as well. Um, yeah, I feel like the whole world's kind of, well, it's like it, the reason you call the president of the United States, the leader of the free world, because America is probably like the most powerful country in the entire world. It truly affects everyone. And so when people are like, why stop talking about America? Like, talk about your own country. Stop worrying about us. It's like, you literally, you don't realize how much the U S like affects every country, like, or at least almost every country. Um, oh, 
Oh my god. Okay, sorry. I do. <laughs> Try not to spam, but I'll answer this. Uh, Laurel said, oh my God, I'm so, I'm crying. I'm so, okay, because this is something I would have done when I was younger. Um, oh my God, I'm crying. I'm so happy. I have I have that too. I don't have eyebrows, eyelashes, and bald spots all over. I'm so happy to see that. If you can uh, do it, so can I. I'm crying. Oh my God. Like, genuinely, when I was younger, and when I first, like, developed my hair loss disorder, um, my biggest thing was, like, I, like, I thought I was the fucking weirdest person. Like I was like, because people at school also like made fun of me. Um, but <laughs> someone said, ooh, spamming works. I'm going to try. No, don't spam. Stop spamming. It's only because this was about a personal matter. But my biggest thing is like, I didn't know anyone else who had it. Um, no one online, like YouTube wasn't big on this. When I was in high school, nobody talked about mental health issues. And I finally found this video of a girl talking about her trick and uh that's where i found my favorite song and to this day i've never told anyone what my favorite song is because it's so personal to me and my disorder um yeah it's been hard and usually i'll have times like my eyebrows are growing back right now and my eyelashes are growing back which is nice but people used to ask me if i was a cancer patient when i was in high school um because i would wear like a bandana to like hide my bald spots and like I had no eyebrows or eyelashes. Oh, it was so annoying when people asked. Oh my God. They were like, what's wrong with your face? Like, what's wrong with your eyebrows? Why don't you have eyelashes? I'm like, shut the fuck up. Just maybe don't like ask questions about like that. Just mind your fucking business. I also used to have a huge bald spot at the crown of my head, like here. And sometimes if you like look at my hair, you'll see like I still have baby hairs that like grow funny and like curly hairs because I used to pull out at like I had huge bald spots here and here and then one here. So now the hair grows differently there. Like, you know, when you rip out hair and it comes back, it, it grows back curly now. So it's like, I have these little curly hairs that are like a lot more coarse than like my normal hair. Cause I ripped them out so many times. Oopsies. Um, Taylor Riff said, love you. Wish I could send more, but right now, but right now license uh it's okay you don't have to send uh that was just sweet of you to send at all thank you so much love you love you taylor um but yes if i can get through this so can you if i can get through my many mental health issues you can as well i'm so proud of you you're beautiful with or without with a, with or without hair you don't need hair to be beautiful bald is beautiful Bald spots, gorgeous. No eyebrows, no eyelashes, gorgeous. You're perfect. You know why? Because I had to develop a personality because I was fucking, people made fun of me. <laughs> I was like, no eyelashes, no eyebrows. Keep up my personality, fucking bomb, bitch. Whew. I'm like losing my voice from talking so much. Okay. I think we should end this video or this live stream. Oh, Taylor said I had to pay to renew my nurse's license. Oh my gosh. Well, you didn't have to send me anything. You're so sweet. That's so amazing though. Um, thank you for being a nurse. You, you people work so hard. Okay, so... I think I'm gonna let you all go now. Oh, that's a horrible accent. I'm so sorry for that. Um, all people are like, don't leave. I love you. I want to do another Kate live stream before Halloween, which is on Saturday, right? So today's Wednesday. So I'll see you guys again soon. I Would you guys want me to do a live stream where I carve a pumpkin? I'll wait for you guys to reply. Oh my gosh, okay. I think it would be cute, right? I could try to carve the pumpkin. And uh, like I wanted to do the pumpkin and do like a little crown or something. Something cute. So maybe I'll live stream on, uh, Saturday or Friday or Saturday or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. You guys can send me funny ideas or something and maybe we'll do a few and we'll carve them together. 
on stream. Um, I love you guys so much. I know you're saying don't go, but it's it's been a few hours. <laughs> it's been two and a half hours, guys, we've been on this stream. Sorry, I, I don't know why I tried to like guesstimate it. It's, it says right here in the corner. But I love you guys. Thank you for being here. And for all of you people who have been here since like the beginning of the stream, thank you for sticking around. I love you guys so much. And I'm so glad that we created this place, this cool little fucking community where everyone's so loving and accepting and kind and like sends me koala bears. So I love you guys so much. Um, bye. Love you.